In this video, we will be doing evaluating functions, linear and quadratic, or linear and cubic, okay? So this is what the problem will look like. I went ahead and did two of them. I didn't recreate the directions for both. I just rewrote the new functions and the new values that they're asking you to find, okay? Um, but the directions are the same. They're gonna give you two functions. They're gonna define those two functions, right? F of X is equal to this, G of X is equal to that. Um, and then they're gonna ask you to find two specific values. And of course they want you to simplify your answers as much as possible. That is standard practice when dealing in mathematics is you always wanna simplify your answers to their simplest form, okay? Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start with the first one, which is F of negative three. Now remember there was an X in this parentheses. So what that notation is telling you is that in this formula to calculating F function values, right, F values, um, we're gonna basically replace the X with this negative three. So this becomes two negative three cubed plus two. Now you can type all of that in a calculator. Your calculator does every single bit of that. I typed in the whole thing. It looks exactly like it does on my paper. And so then the value I get is negative 52. And that would be the answer for this particular part. Now, if I wanna calculate what G of three is, that means I need to be looking at the G function. So this formula, and I need to be replacing the X with a three now. So this would become negative four parentheses three plus two. You can type that in your calculator if you cannot do the computation in your head, um, or if you just wanna double check your computation that you've done in your head, you can always go and type it in the calculator. Similarly, notice that they switched, right? This one's now the linear, and this one's the one that has the square or the cube. Um, and so it's no different. Just make sure that you're plugging the two into the correct function and you're plugging the negative two into the correct function. So if I wanna find F of two, I'm taking this formula and I'm replacing all of the X's with that two. And when I do this computation, I get one. When I go to find G of negative two, I'm taking this expression and I'm replacing all the X's because X does appear more than once with that negative two. So all the x's, this one and this one, both get replaced with the negative two. And then this one I am gonna use a calculator. So two parentheses, negative two, raise the second power, get down, um, minus three parentheses, negative two. And so then I get 14. 